You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral profile. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. I'm here to learn from you. You're not real FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. I don't believe Lecter's even seen a woman in eight years. Oh, are you ever his taste? I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. Are you hitting on me, Doc? Yeah. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Sometimes you do. I have plans to call on you, Clarice. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. And what is that? Oh, he's a monster. Look at him, Starling. Throw me with your acting. He's in his 40s. He's got real physical strength, combined with an older man's self-control. What you're doing, Miss Starling, is coming into my hospital, refusing to share information with me for the third time. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? Pretty young woman to turn him on. Go on, then. Seduce me. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Mm -hmm. Tell me who decapitated your patient. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. Don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Is it true what they're saying? Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clary? Yes. <laughs> you still wake up sometimes, don't you? To hear the screaming of the lamb. <laughs> Well, let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you?